Well, there have been a lot of conversations on bamboo that we saw in the previous year as well, and it really seems to be picking steam as we get into 2024. Well, whether it is about uh, using it for furniture or sustainability, it is environment friendly, and it doesn't require too much of water as well. And now there are conversations about uh, creating ethanol out of this as well. So let's uh, basically talk about on what all bamboo can do and where is India really ranked in when it comes to this commodity or this crop here. Joining me are two very distinguished guests. I have with me Mr. Bhaskar Fukan, who is CMD Assam Biorefinery, and Mr. KPG Reddy, who is former faculty, India Institute of Science. Thank you, gentlemen, so much for joining us. I'll start with you, Mr. Reddy, first. And uh, so much of work has been done all these years on sustainability. Carbon footprint is something that we have been talking about for many years now. So whether it has been in sense of energy transition or ensuring that we can decarbonize going forward, how do you see the entry of bamboo within this? Bamboo, uh, to be fair, we have really ill-treated bamboo. Uh -huh. We never gave its credit to it. Remember, from childhood, the cradle was made of bamboo, and when the death was there, the stretcher was bamboo. Such a thing we have neglected. So now I see a lot of work is going on, but I think what is lacking since morning I have been observing is absolutely there is no research component in this. Everybody is trying out like as if they know bamboo but really we don't know. So I think it is time we put a lot of research into it. Just to tell you one thing, we have just, one of my colleagues has produced a fluorescent bamboo. Imagine you can put signboards everywhere, no power required. All over the country you can put it. Such material is there. Then with the ES, I think my group is producing transparent bamboo. Imagine what it does. All your glasses will be replaced by bamboo wood. So all your buildings, glass will be replaced by it. It will transmit light and you can have any color you know, wood you want. Such products are to be developed. Then all your you know, real estate will take. You can build the buildings with that. This is what I meant. R&D is missing. We are tra since morning I am observing, everybody has treated bamboo as if we know it. Mm. We will burn it, we will do this, we will do that. Where is your R&D here? Absolutely not there. Mm -hmm. So this is what I feel, we have to invest money and that R&D should be done by the youngsters mm. who are really going, itching to produce something new. That's where somebody mentioned something about startup things. Mm. That's where I'm a professor, spent 50 years in the teaching Unless you put this 25 to 35 year kids into work, you can never achieve the progress. Remember, people get Nobel Prize only for the work what they have done at the age of 30, right. not at the age of 80. <laughs> so therefore, if you want to make this country really superpower technically, engineering wise, I think that is the generation. So oh, very well said. And so you know, yeah, uh, in one's mind, the bamboo is the traditional bamboo that we see yes. all the time. Now I'm imagining uh, yes. fluorescent and uh, what did you say? It's as if we know that, you know, like kind of thing. We take it for granted <laughs> that you know everything about bamboo. Mm. You hardly, can you imagine my dream is that tomorrow our PSLV, which is taking our satellites, should be fully made of only bamboo. I will make it, okay? Mm. And my satellite, should be made by bamboo because every kg of weight you are lifting into space, I am spending 15 lakh rupees per kg. If I can reduce it by even 50 percent, imagine what is my space travel. Then I can go to space for digging the, for minerals, tourism. I tell my children, whoever I meet, your grandchildren will be having honeymoon in this space. <laughs> Nobody will go to Switzerland or Spain. <laughs> This is where uh, we have to lead. So what is uh, stopping all this investment in research and development? Imagine. And who do you think needs to work for this now? No, imagination. People think, bamboo, oh, what is there? It was growing in my backyard. Mm. This attitude, sir, everybody has taken this. Mm. Everybody seems to know bamboo. Hardly you know now. Believe me, if I can pump carbon nanotubes into bamboo tubulars, mm. this will be stronger than steel. Then roofing, steel, you don't need even half an inch of steel into the building. 
20 floors building. I will build it. Only okay. thing is, I have to invest money into it. Mm. I have already developed the machine. One machine, I have sold it to Astra, in Maharashtra bamboo thing, mm. machine, mission. So, such machines are to be propagated, produce this such a hard bamboo, you build any number of floors without using even an inch of steel. <laughs> but I'm assuming industry does need people like you as well. So, somebody who can push it like that and yeah. ensure and guide them and mentor them and tell them what really is required. Yeah. So we are, I am doing it, but the issue is, the moment you talk to people about them, oh, we know everything yeah. about <laughs> it. My <laughs> grandfather was using red grandfather. <laughs> you know, this is the attitude problem. Since morning, I am listening and mm. listening. <laughs> Not <laughs> even a single word what we could have done, what mm. we should be doing. Mm. Isn't it? Why should my pistol, my tools, everything should be made of this steel, <laughs> this uh, metal? I should say I will do it with a bamboo. bamboo. Oh, I, I, I'm sure there's a lot of uh, research, yeah. awareness, marketing that needs to be done into this place. But that's exactly what I want to talk to you about, Mr. Fukan. And you are coming by out with a biorefinery uh, in March where ethanol would be made from bamboo. What work has gone into it? What research has gone into it? And what are you estimating? Uh, we are building a biorefinery, as you know, and we are almost about completing mechanically. See, uh, this is a technology which uh, is provided by our co-investor, uh, Mrs. Campolis. He's mm. a Finnish company. Mm. See, bamboo, uh, as uh, one would know, that it con uh, contains cellulose. Our aim is to isolate the cellulose and uh, carry out something called enzymic hydrolysis, convert it to glucose, and glucose then to ethanol. That is the basic process. And in the process, there will be some uh, production of byproduct uh, because the solvent that we use up front will also generate some byproduct which also being isolated in the process itself, namely furfural and acetic acid. And these uh, products will be termed as green because it is coming from a biomass. Mm. So therefore, that is the thing that we are doing. Uh, we have not done ourselves any primary R&D. Uh, because it is a licensed uh, product, okay. but it can be replicated very quickly. My job is to see to it that bamboo has a, a big, uh, good destination for mass consumption. That is what we are trying to do. And definitely, while sourcing the bamboo, a lot of money will be funneled into the uh, society in form of the farmers. They will get people who are doing uh, the transportation. They will get so kind of thing that we are trying to do. Yes. Mm. So this is the first one in India that's coming up? Yes, it is the first one in India. So I think we will be through by end of March. Mm -hmm. And what are the uh, you know, estimates and what are the numbers that you're looking at? What is the kind of investment that has gone in? What is the output that you're looking at by the end of this year? Uh, the first year will be a challenging year because we post commissioning, we need to stabilize. Because mm -hmm. you would imagine that first time in the world it is being made. So therefore, there are challenges which we are anticipating to face. Nonetheless, we are prepared to face all the challenges and we will respond as it comes. But uh, uh, our investment is into the uh, tune of uh, 4,200 crore. And actually, a lot of engineering unfolded. A lot of things were not known. As we un uh, engineering unfolded, we started responding to it. Therefore, there was a cost overrun uh, to the tune of around 1,000 crore. But uh, we maintain a very healthy return on investment, nonetheless, because we are also producing this uh, byproduct along with uh, uh, ethanol, and we are producing our own power. Going forward, actually, we will also look at uh, lignin valorization. Okay. As of now, lignin is being burned in the uh, furnace to mm. produce steam and power. Mm. But definitely lignin valorization is being looked into by different uh, bodies and uh, definitely we will look forward for lignin valorization in future to bring more feasibility. And also we, when we chip the bamboo, the dust which gets generated, we are trying to convert that dust to biochar to start with and eventually we are trying to convert it to activated carbon. That is another pathway by which we are doing valorization, yes. All right, so every part of bamboo put to use and this is a new start of the year and where we are looking at uh, bamboo being really uh, the championing product here. Thank you so much, Mr. Fukuna. Thank I you so much, Mr. Reddy. One word. One yes, word. absolutely. Have you seen Kurukshetra war in Mahabharat? 
<laughs> okay. We'll have, yeah, okay. Yeah, that movie. Hmm. Uh, you remember all the war was by, fought with uh, you know arrows and by this thing, hmm. and it was uh, bamboo. It was bamboo. Okay, it was so, so powerful. So it's not new to us. Uh, yeah, it is not new, but hmm. that strength was there when hmm. it was there. We lost something somewhere. Hmm. So therefore, all your future needs should be met by bamboo. That needs your R and D. Absolutely. Please, believe me, let's make it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make it. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us. Yes. And thank you for that very insightful conversation. Thank, thank you, you so much.